लाइबेरिया जो कंट्री है वेस्ट अफ्रीका में आता है ये अफ्रीका का मैप है पूरा इसमें ये पार्ट जो है ये लाइबेरिया है इसका जो कैपिटल है मुनरोबिया Liberia, a country scarred by 14 years of brutal civil war. The first nation in the African continent to declare its independence in 1847, Liberia has become infamous in recent years for child soldiers and rampant sexual violence. But slowly and steadily, the country is trudging towards stability, helped by the United Nations, which is here on a peacekeeping mission. Today, Liberia is at a crucial moment in its history as it heads for its second democratic election. This election will decide its future course towards peace and stability or violence and chaos. The United Nations must ensure that the election takes place in a safe and trouble-free environment. Assisting the UN operation is a special unit from India. an all female police contingent deployed yearly since 2007 it is the first such unit to ever take part in any peacekeeping mission in the world इलेक्शन का माहौल चल रहा है ये अभी भी मेरे ख्याल से इलेक्शन के रिगार्डिंग ही कुछ हो रहा होगा ठीक है और यूनिवर्सिटी पढ़ती है सामने वहाँ भी कुछ ना कुछ प्रदर्शन होते रहते हैं तो आप लोगों ने बहुत ही अटेंटिव रहना है चाहे आपको वो बात इम्पोर्टेंट लगे या नहीं लगे लेकिन आपको लग रहा है कि नॉर्मल से हट के है तो आपने उसका ज़रूर हमें बताना है द इंडियन फीमेल फॉर्म्ड पुलिस यूनिट है सिक्योरिटी ऑपरेशन एंड टू सपोर्ट दैम इन परफॉर्मिंग दे जॉब There are 23 men in the form of drivers, mechanics, cooks and a logistics officer. One of the unit's main duties is to guard the president's office at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs round the clock. Poonam Gupta is the commander of this unit, the only woman officer to serve twice in Liberia. She came with the first contingent in 2007. Twelve hours per shift, two vehicles, one in the morning, one in, in the evening. Twelve hours, lamba nahi aaja hai. Twelve hours shift. Chalo, bhai Ashir. Poonam is on her way to a preparatory meeting for the election. She will strategize jointly with UN and Liberian police officers on how to best deploy their forces. For the first time, the elections are being conducted by the Liberians themselves. They are conducting it. We are just observers and supporters whenever they need our guidance and support. And this was the time when it will be tested that the democracy is here to stay or not. Will the people would accept the the democratically elected government? If the current president wins or some other other person wins, but the democratic process should move on. We are the first ones to arrive. Huh? We even had three missions here. 
this is the latest mission which is which was established in October 2003 eight years of unbroken peace is a very very big achievement and if we are able to conduct and complete the election and complete the transition properly peacefully it's a big achievement for you hamari vision jo us din hamari nafri ye rahegi na नाइट पेट्रोलिंग तो नहीं रहती ना उस दिन दोनों बंकर तैयार रहेंगे दोनों जगह के बंकर रहेंगे दोनों बंकर जाएंगे डिप्लॉयमेंट में एनईसी में भी और एल्वा में भी ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू नो लाइबेरियन नेशनल पुलिस एंड अदर लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसीज लाइक द बॉर्डर इमिग्रेशन एंड नेचुरलाइजेशन द मेनी मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ गवर्नेंस स्लोली एंड स्टडीली दे आर कमिंग इनटू देयर ओन दे मे नॉट बी एज प्रोफिशिएंट एज यू वांट देम टू बी बट स्लोली एंड स्टडीली दे कमिंग कमिंग इनटू देयर ओन it you cannot you cannot give a person 10 years experience in one day that has to be earned so i think in due time they will be able to take responsibility for their own self Well, I think it was a discussion with member states in general about increasing the number of female peacekeepers, including in the police. And then it was during those discussions that India, in particular, offered to send an all-female unit. It's not that it's only an all-female unit that can achieve the goal we are after. A mixed unit could also do it. But the challenges and many of the countries that are sending police two united nations missions are not sending very many female officers india is one of the top 5 contributors of troops to united nations missions and has been at the forefront of actively recruiting women to the police force today it has three women battalions from which the liberian contingent is selected every year অসমত চাকৰি পোৱাটো টানে আছিল খুব আৰু হে কাৰণে মই ভাবিছিল মানে ফৰ্সৰ ফৰ্সতে জয়েন কৰো মানে আৰু মোৰ মানে দেখে আৰু মানে বহুত ইচ্ছা আছিল আৰু ফৰ্সৰ ডিসিপ্লিন বহুত ভাল লাগিছিল মই এটো ফার্স্ট টাইম এনেকা মানে ভাবিছিল মই জয়েন কৰিলে ভাল হ'ব নে সকলোখিনি হোৱাৰ হোৱাৰ পিছত মানে মোৰ মানে মেডিকেল ফিজিকেল সকলো মই সকলোতে পাস হৈ গলো মানে কোৱালিফাইড হলো তাৰ পাছতে মই মানে ভাবিছিল গলে ভাল হ'ব নে নহয় বুলি দেউতাই মানে গম পাই খিনি মোর পাপাই গম পাই খিনি মানে বহুত মানে এনকারেজ দিছে কিয় মানে নোযা বহুত ভাল মানে নিজকে নিজের উপর ডিপেন্ড হয়ে মানে ইমান হেরি দেশের কারণে হেরি করব তুমি চান্স পাইছ কিয় নোজ বহুত এনকারেজ করছো অন্তর তো বহুতে হয় কেন আমি ইন্ডিয়াতে 
নাইট ডিউটি তো কেউ করাই না নাইট মানে আমি মানে রাতে হওয়ার পিছন কেউ বাইর ছালী তে বাইর যাওয়া নাছিল আর ইয়াত তো আমি পুরা নাইটতো ডিউটি যাব মানে পাইছো আর ভয় তো লাগা নাছিল ফার্স্ট টাইম অল্প মানে হেরি হয়েছিল আর কেন মানে বাইর ফার্স্ট টাইম পেট্রোলিং ডিউটি আইসো আর তাতে নাকা ডিউটি উঠিয়ে হেরি হয়েছো কারণ অকান মানে অসুবিধা হয়েছিল আর মানে মানে এলার্ট তথাপিও আমি বহুত এলার্টকে আসিল অসুবিধা হয়েছিল যদিও মানে এনেকা বেলে অসুবিধা হওয়া নাছিল তথাপিও মানে ফার্স্ট টাইম সেই কারণে অকান মানে ডিফিকাল্ট হয়েছিল আর Every night a section of the Indian unit assembles at the Liberian police headquarters where they are assigned their nightly patrolling duties. Pindo Shailaja ji madam door number 2871 क्यूँकी वो हमारा गाइड रहता है एरिया उसका है ये जगह उनकी है वो उनके बारे में जानकारी रखता है इसलिए हम उनको लेके जाते हैं ऐसे कोई एक्टिविटीज ना लगे जैसे कोई हथौड़ा लेके जा रहा है कोई ऐसे हो जा रहा लेके नहीं जा रहा है कि किसी को कत्ल करे या किसी का घर तोड़ने जा रहा है या चोरी करने जा रहा है लूट करने जा रहा है इसीलिए जाते हैं यूएन पुलिस के पास और लाइब्रेरी नेशनल के पास वेपन नहीं रहता हथियार नहीं रहता और हथियार बंद है हम लोग हैं इसीलिए हमें लिया जाता है रात को कि हम उसके प्रोटेक्शन करते हैं ভয় ভাব তো বা বেলে মানে বেলে নানুয়ে মানে মন নাহে মানে মুঠেও ঘর কথা বা বেলে কিনা মানে এনেকা মানে মনলে নাহে মানে আমি কি হব বা এনেকা মানে আমি মুঠতে ড্রেস পিন্ধার পিছন ডিউটি যাব লাগে তো লাগে আর যেনেকা নহলে যেনেকা ধরনের ডিউটি নহলে আমি মানে ডিউটিত মানে পুরা মানে নিজের পারদর্শিত দেখাবলে মানে বহুত মানে 
সেটে ভাব আর মেন जहाँ भी मतलब इंडिया में उन्नीस साल कंप्लीट किया अब बीसवा साल यहाँ लग मिल रहा है तो अच्छा है चैलेंज फेस करने के लिए हर जगह मिलता है तो ये भी एक जगह मिल गया है कम से कम सर्विस में बाहर जा के आए ये भी तो एक है क्योंकि हर वक्त चाहे ड्यूटी हो चाहे वो कोई भी हो पीटी हो वो परेड हो कोई डेमो हो कोई भी चैलेंज हो उसको चैलेंज की तरह देखो तो बहुत मज़ा आता है नौकरी को चैलेंज की तरह लो और उसको हर वक्त को खुशी से जीने की दुख तो लेना ही नहीं है क्यों इसको करनी है ही क्योंकि हमने कुछ चॉइस किया ये नौकरी मैंने कुछ चॉइस किया क्योंकि वर्दी की शौक था उस टाइम में उड़ान एक सीरियल आता था उससे हम इंस्पिरेशन होके किरण बेड़ी को देखा उनसे जॉब को मैंने चॉइस किया है उसके प्रति तो वफादार तो रुकने पड़ेगा ऐसे मुझे कोई फोर्स में आज तक कोई भी तकलीफ महसूस नहीं हुई है There is a committee of military and police advisers in United Nations headquarters. They are coming to see how we are performing. Are we performing within the mandates? Uh, are we being utilized properly? Is the mission looking after us properly? Things like that. यही 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 उसी के बिल्कुल एग्जैक्टली उसके नीचे आउट ऑफ द पुलिस एडवाइजर्स विच आर कमिंग द फ्यू डोनर कंट्रीज एंड सम फ्रॉम द ट्रूप कंट्रीब्यूटिंग कंट्रीज आल्सो सो इट इज इट इज इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर बोथ वंस हु गिव द मनी फॉर द मिशंस टू रन सो हाउ इट इज बीइंग एग्जीक्यूटेड हाउ हाउ द मनी इज बीइंग स्पेंड इज द मनी इज बीइंग स्पेंड प्रॉपर्ली एंड द ट्रूप्स कंट्रीब्यूटिंग कंट्रीज फ्रॉम द एंगल दैट आर द ट्रूप्स व्हिच आर व्हिच आर बीइंग सेंट टू द मिशंस आर बीइंग दे आर दे बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड प्रॉपर्ली
when we came here in 2007, uh, the first female uh, unit in my force had already come up in 1986. So it already had an experience of 21 years. And I, I have worked in a female unit for around five years. So I know the in, ins and outs, the difficulties that problem we face and how do we overcome them. This is a, a unit being looked, uh, looked up by so many people here. So it is a challenge to keep uh, the good work of my predecessors. It's difficult, but at the same time, you have to keep on proving that being the female unit is no less than anybody else. It's, for me, I have to say that it's better than uh, the most. <laughs> for the simple reason that I find women more disciplined and more job-oriented. Job give a task to a man and a woman, and you see the result. I find the women take less time, they, they give you a better quality of job. The workmanship is better. For us, the duties are for FPUs, it's not for female FPUs. When we do the night duties, the male counterparts are doing the same duties that we are doing. It, it's, it's immaterial, you know. Today, I am, I am sitting as a quick action force at the LNP headquarters. Tomorrow, it will be Nepalese, therefore, tomorrow, it will be Jordanian. It's the same duty. And in 2007, the duties were much, much tougher. So, we used to do the night foot patrols. 40 officers would be patrolling those dark alleys, dark areas with no lights, no electricity, throughout on the foot, you know. You have the armed robbers, many more incidents of armed robberies than, than now. So, nobody doubted us, because we didn't doubt ourselves any time. While Poonam Gupta and her unit are preparing for the upcoming election, back in India, a fresh contingent is already being trained for the next term in Liberia. Excellent. Excellent firing. Very good. I call them the Indian Form Police Unit Number One because we have another Indian Form Police Unit Number Two. That is an all male unit. And what I stress first and foremost is that both of them are very professional police officers. And the Form Police Unit One then happens to be women. Uh, I think it's most important to underline they are very professional officers and thereby they are demonstrating that women can do policing. Secondly, I think they have contributed quite a bit to increasing the number of Liberian women who have signed up to service in the Liberian National Police and there the percentage is now 16%. It's still not the target of 20%, but it's still fairly good. Can I call you back in 10 minutes? Uh, we have uh, police officers from 39 countries. And our main objective is uh, building up a new uh, Liberian National Police uh, in accordance with the international standards of democratic policing. By its very presence uh, in Liberia, uh, more than its intrinsic uh, contributions, uh, participating in uh, security responsibilities and also building capacities of uh, the Liberian National Police. Uh, by the very fact that uh, uh, the women police officers are seen and visible, their sheer presence goes towards uh, really reassuring uh, the women section of the society. From the police services point of view, there are other options available. Uh, but from the symbolic uh, point of view, perhaps uh, there are no other options. Even though they are female or senior, they are women or sustain, they have left their homes and family, abandoned their family to come down to my country and help and work alongside with the government to bring peace and stability. So I feel happy and I really want to appreciate and I want to commend them. I must say that uh, the Indian foreign uh, military has been very helpful in Liberia. They have assisted us in maintaining peace. As you know, we are a fragile nation. 
They are here assisting, working alongside our police officers at night on patrol. You can see them on duty at the Foreign Affairs, the mansion where the president is. They're also at our prisons. So without them, we would not be as successful. right now uh, we would uh, uh, the ex combatants were quite a lot big organized groups you know there uh, there were quite a lot of clashes between police and the ex combatants for that i have not seen even a demonstration from them for the last 8 months here with the history of the neighbors that liberia has it's not a very nice history to have this all the or four countries in this region you know they had some kind of civil wars happening in their past so the weapons are available they had children very of very young age you know, 7 8 9 10 who were holding weapon and fighting for some group or otherwise which they even don't know in post conflict scenario they tried to take all the weapons away from the civilian population but still some remain now in 2011 also a few remain In 2007, my troops were caught in a situation where there was an armed robber inside the house, and he was firing at them like randomly, and it was it was uh, very bad. My troops had to fire back, and finally the armed robber was killed, and an AK-47 was recovered from him, and few magazines also, and rounds also. So, uh, when you go for a peacekeeping operation, you don't expect this uh, live uh, rounds coming at you. So now uh, the the challenge is different. at that point in time it was about the reintegration of the ex combatants who was fighting you know now it is about capturing the seat of the president of liberia <laughs> The race for presidency is entering its final stage. The current president and Nobel Peace Prize winner, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, is facing a strong challenge from her main opponents, Winston Tubman and his running mate, George Weah, a national football star. <laughs> जोन 
हम गए कहा वो जंगल में हे भगवान जैसे गए ना धब 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 पिस्टल का शूटिंग होते हैं हम वहाँ से फिर फिर गए पंद्रह मिनट के बाद जाके पकड़ के लाया इतना इतना लंबा वाला वो दाव पकड़ के अच्छे तरह से चले जाओ के पास साल में दो महीना रहेगी ज्यादा से ज्यादा यहाँ रहेगी दस महीना तो यहाँ वाली ज्यादा काम करेगी उधर वाली मैं तुमसे बात कर रही हूँ मैं तुमसे बात कर रही हूँ मैं कहीं नहीं कर रही मतलब गुस्सा किस लिए होगा ये भी खुला ही पड़ा ये भी खुला पड़ा ये खाली ये लगा रखा ये तो ऐसे नीचे से निकल जा रही देख रहे हो लाइब्रेरिया ये कैरियर इन्हेंसमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटी है दूसरा फाइनेंशियल बेनिफिट्स हैं उनको नकारा नहीं जा सकता तीसरा एक्सपीरियंस हम अपने आप को जब अपनी वापस फौज में जाएंगे सीआरपीएफ में जाएंगे तो हम अपने आप को कैसे रेट कर पाते हैं कि हमने एक इंटरनेशनल सिनेरियो में काम किया है जहाँ पे लगभग हर देश के लोग आए हैं उनके साथ हम कितना मेल मिलाप से कितना सौहार्द से काम कर पाते हैं और वापस उस एक्सपीरियंस को हम अपने फोर्स में ले जा कैसे एम्बेड कर पाते हैं सीआरपीएफ में ही है और मेरा एक बेटा है अभी नवंबर में वो दो साल का हो गया तो आपको कैसा लगता है आपने इतने छोटे बच्चे को घर पे छोड़ के आप यहाँ बहुत दूर आ गए यस आई थिंक दैट इफ द पीरियड वॉज जस्ट सिक्स मंथ 
like the other FPUs also staying here for six months only. Since we are females, we have families back home, so it becomes a long time. One year becomes too long for us. Before coming here, I had not uh, realized this, but that I will feel so homesick. But now, uh, these remaining uh, four months are, I'm just waiting for them to get over. I long to kiss your charming face, want to count steps in your pace, want to hold my world in my arms, want to be till an eternity in this embrace. Can the wrong done by me be somehow undone? Can I still be somehow considered worthy of your pardon? No, our job is like that. We live in India. We don't have time with our children. We left him in 11 months. 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 But now he's gone. अभी कुछ ऐसा महसूस नहीं होता है मतलब ऐसा बिल्कुल फील मन में नहीं आता मतलब हम सभी लड़कियां ऐसे घर में अपने बच्चे को मम्मी पापा के पास कोई अपने बहन के पास ऐसे छोड़ के आते तो हमको कोई फील नहीं था एक दूसरे को देख के हम अच्छे से रहते हैं सभी गनी सुमन माता की कोड़ी ऐसा माम खला Who All my family is in the teaching business. They're all teachers. I'm the lone odd one out. They're supportive. Uh, once they know that I have to do this, then I could do this. They, they get worried, you know. Once <clears throat> I was in Srinagar and there was a Fidayan attack going on. The, the, the Prime Minister of the country was to come to Srinagar. And there was a Fidai who took up a position on the Shankaracharya hill. And I was standing just under it and there was bullets running around. And I didn't realize I somehow dialed my home number. I didn't know how I do it, did it. And they were hearing everything and they were getting worried. And, and I didn't know that they were hearing. So, and I'm lying to them, it's okay, everything's fine and all and all. And all. And so at times they get worried. They get, get worried about my being here also. Excuse me. As election day approaches, campaigning of the two major parties, Unity Party and Congress for Democratic Change, is heating up. They have a history of clashing every time there is a chance for confrontation. <laughs> किसी की 12 घंटे की ड्यूटी आएगी, किसी को 6 घंटे के रेस्ट के बाद दोबारा ड्यूटी पड़ेगा। और अगर इलेक्शन शांतिपूर्वक निकल गया, तो ठीक। अगर शांतिपूर्वक नहीं निकला, तो इस तरह की लंबी ड्यूटी के लिए हमें मानसिक और शारीरिक रूप से तैयार होना पड़ेगा। जो रिपोर्ट्स आ रही हैं, वो ये कॉन्फिडेंस जगाना है लाइब्रेरिया के लोगों में कि इलेक्शन आ रहे हैं हम उनकी देखभाल करने के लिए हैं उन्हें किसी चीज से डरने की आवश्यकता नहीं है जो चीज गैस से काबू आएगी उसको गैस से काबू लाया जाए जो चीज लाठी से काबू आई जाएगी उसको लाठी से काबू लाया जाए और हथियार लास्ट रिजॉर्ट है लाइव राउंड लास्ट रिजॉर्ट है ये बात दिमाग में अपने जहन में ठीक से घुसा लीजिए
are supposed to be compassionate. They are not aggravated so easily. In a situation of communal tension, they are able to pacify the parties involved with a very compassionate way. Aggression uh, creeps up when uh, people are dissatisfied or when their uh, rights are uh, crushed. So we are there to make them believe that we are there. So you need not resort to violence. We are there to help you. It is here in uh, United Nations that we have a name called Peacemakers. But in India also, we are doing similar kind of duty. We want to show the world that we are a peaceful people and that we can obey the rule of law. Uh, we needed the UN mission in Liberia when we were emerging from war. Uh, Liberia will have to be able to sustain itself. Uh, we have been given a lot by the UN mission, by our partners. Before they leave, I would like to see us be able to sustain those things that they have given yes, us brother. and not to just leave us with this huge gift that may be impossible to sustain. But I think Liberia is on the right track. Under the watchful eyes of international observers, Liberians have come out in large numbers to cast their vote. Despite the heavy rains, the voter turnout is nearly 72%. The goal of a UN mission is, of course, to assist the government in the country where we serve to build its own capacities and eventually to be able to stand on its own feet. We have already been here eight years. We have changed in the sense that we have reduced our strength from 15 military soldiers to 8,000 now. And we will, of course, after the election in the beginning of 2012, look at how we can reduce further, what are the needs, because the aim is to ensure that the mission eventually can leave Liberia and that Liberian security institutions can manage any threat to security on their own. To everybody's relief, the election has passed peacefully. President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf continues in office for a second term. The Liberian National Police successfully managed to contain the violence that briefly surfaced when the results were announced, thanks to the assistance of the UN peacekeepers. <laughs>
Buraya geldin. <gülüyor>